so when they Vince called me and told me that they wanted to do the for the I didn't know whether it'd be a long term gimmick at all at the time to be honest with you I thought it was something for SummerSlam okay to do that that's what it was explained to me I was going to yeah. do a bus tour and challenge Joko Zuna for the world title so I didn't know how they were going to do the switch because I was a heel looking in mirrors but Vince explained what he wanted to do in the aircraft carrier and I didn't know if I could slam Yoko. We did a walkthrough the week before, but uh, he goes, don't worry, it'll work, and it definitely worked. I went from looking in mirrors to, on July 4th, being a babyface. Wow. The crowd had a great response live there on the USS Intrepid. It was a, a great setup. So and there it was. How did you like working with Yoko Zuna? Oh, Yoko was a, Yoko, I call him Yoko. Yoko Zuna was a dream to work with. One of the, I think, one of the best big men ever. He was, uh, we all call him the dancing bear. We call him that because he was 600 plus pounds, but he could he could bend backwards before he took a bump with his back. His, when he let his hair down, he had that long hair he let out. And he'd bend, I mean, uh, his flexibility, his agility, his ability to move in the ring and just, you know, those island boys are, incredible workers, usually naturally anyways. Yeah. So he was a dream to work with. And Yoko and I also struck a very good friendship outside of the ring. We both loved playing cards. Okay. We killed time on the, on the road, the locker room where I, when we were in Europe on the bus. So Yoko and I got together personally really well, really well. So yeah, very fond mem memories of uh, Yoko. Were you disappointed at all? I, I've heard you say in other interviews you weren't, but I know as a fan, I was a fan of yours at that time, and when they had the balloon drop and the confetti or whatever, when you won by count out, did you find that that was a little lame considering the big build up to that match? I, another question I'm asked a lot. I, 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 I would have loved to have won, but I wasn't disappointed because I was never promised. I thought it was a great opportunity to do the Let's Express tour. It went really, really well. And to be in the main event against Yoko for the world title. And uh, Vince had already pretty much mentioned if I was going to win the title, he'd, he'd rather maybe wait off until the following WrestleMania. So, um, I w I, no, I definitely wasn't disappointed. And I, I knew that they were going to take Yoko off on a angle with Undertaker. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.